Every community has a story written in the pages of history and shaped by the good people who live and work to make their hometown a better place. And over the years, the story of Ocala has taken shape. Ed and Lois Johnson are familiar in most circles in Ocala, much in part because of their desire to promote the welfare of other people, strengthen their community, and make a difference in a big way. Well, there are probably a handful of people um, in Marion County that have made a big, big impact um, in a variety of areas. Ed and Lois are in that category of people, in a very special category of people that have, through their voluntary efforts, come together with other people in the community to, to really, really make a difference. They are just absolutely wonderful to uh, uh, set sort of a role model for all of us in terms of how to give back to our community and participate in our community and really make a difference. Ed and Lois are all about service, um, really helping out in any way they can, and I think that's their mission in this lifetime is to give directly from their heart while the footprint of Ed and Lois Johnson undoubtedly can be seen all across Marion County, their love for others and strong desire to make a difference is something that has always been a part of who they are. It's their story, but it's a story that's not about them at all. It's about everyone else. Long before they came to Ocala in the 90s, Ed had two careers. First, as a heroic army aviator, who served multiple combat tours as a unit commander, operations officer, and as a senior advisor to foreign forces. Second, he was an electronics industry executive for many years following military retirement. Lois, a Boston-born Mayflower descendant, made her mark in the lives of young children and college students as a professional educator. During her career, she taught as a college professor at Tufts, Framingham State, and Monmouth University. Also, while pursuing a PhD, Lois taught in Westwood, Wellesley, and Framingham Public Schools. She received many honors and recognitions for her contributions to education in K-12 and college. In 1994, Ed and Lois moved to Ocala. The Johnsons uh, certainly had the resources to, uh, and the uh, flexibility to live any place in the world. They chose Ocala and Marion County. They started immediately to leave their footprint in all areas of Ocala. With a passion for higher education and the desire to make an impact, Ed and Lois Johnson decided to approach the College of Central Florida. Well, they actually called us and wanted to come in and uh, tell us that they uh, were gonna make a gift. So uh, we never turned that down, of course. There were no strings attached to the gift. I mean, they wanted to, uh, they had done their research uh, within the community and they were, uh, decided that they were going to support three or four different charitable organizations. But the Johnson's involvement wasn't just monetary. Ed agreed to serve on the CF Foundation Board as Chair of the Budget and Finance Committee, Investment Committee, and Major Gifts Committee. Lois served as Chair on the Interview Committee. One of the things that you look for in board members and volunteers are people who have the three T's, time, talent, and treasure. It's much more than the treasure that they spend doing good works and good things uh, in the community. Um, they get involved, uh, they give of their time. They've not just talked about it, they, they have been doers. By 2000, Marion County was booming. The population was on the rise. Ocala had just been named one of the best mid-sized communities in America, and the local hospital was in the midst of a large-scale expansion. Both Ed and Lois became intensely involved with Monroe. Today, if you visit Monroe, it's likely you'll pass through the Ed and Lois Johnson lobby located on the second floor. Well, one thing that I will always remember about uh, Ed and Lois uh, is the passion that they have to make a difference in the community. And they have, they have done that in immeasurable ways uh, over the, the a number of years. Uh, they have always been there uh, in our community over the years. Whenever, whenever there's been a need. And when they're not making donations, organizing large-scale events or running committees, Ed and Lois are busy supporting and mentoring those who are. When I became president of the Royal Danes, she was my second vice president and never been had a role like that in my life. Really took me under her wing and that's where I'm gonna say my little Ed came into play as the power couple they are. 
helping me and assisting me with everything I needed to do. In 2008, the Marion County Humane Society and Marion Cultural Alliance were partnering on a certain fundraiser campaign. The project was called Barkitecture, and it had the potential to raise thousands for the organization if they could get the right people involved. That's when Lois got the call. And with a soft side for animals, she agreed to serve as chair and organize the entire event. And so they had people build dog houses and they were huge. I mean, they were gorgeous and, and each one had a theme and a lot of the architects in town took part and they sold for a lot of money. That night, the organizations raised a total of $346,000 far exceeding everyone's expectations. She's very organized, and if she has a project going, you know, that she's going to, uh, she's going to touch base with all the members on her committee. She keeps everything, you know, organized to a T. They could find a lot of other things to do with their time, but they've actually chosen to make this community their own. Ed and Lois Johnson have made it their mission in life to make a difference in the lives of others. They've impacted the life and culture in Ocala, Marion County in ways that cannot be measured. And they've created a legacy of giving that has become a major part of the story of Ocala, a story that will inspire philanthropy and goodwill in this area for generations to come. It's not just about giving money. It's about giving your time, your knowledge, your skills. Like I say, behind the scenes, they do more than you can imagine. Ed and Lois, on behalf of the March of Dimes organization and everyone in this community, thank you.